After being recognized as the leader in the solar energy production sector, India has shown to take affirmative steps in the green energy sector too. India announced a National Hydrogen Energy Mission or NHM in January this year with the aim to become the global hub for manufacturing green hydrogen and achieving a net zero carbon emission by 2070. In this video, we will understand what is this mission and what business opportunities awaits in this segment. Hello, my name is Shalin and I welcome you to Enter Climate. So, after announcing green growth as one of the priority sectors, the Finance Minister of India, Mrs. Nirmala Sitharaman, also allocated Rs. 10,222 crores towards the renewable energy sector. In this year's budget, the budget has clear indicators that the government aims to develop India as the global hub of hydrogen technology manufacturing in the country in a view to cut down carbon emissions and increase the use of renewable energy in the country. The National Green Hydrogen Mission has been meticulously designed and addresses areas such as creation of hydrogen hubs in the country, manufacturing of machineries, attract investments, create jobs and develop research in this sector. So these areas will be the topic of today's video, where you can find new opportunities. The allocation of funds in this year's budget comes at a time when many industries have shown a slowdown during the pandemic. But now, the government has taken concrete steps to boost the economy by supporting green entrepreneurs in the country. The Economic Survey has highlighted the country's plan to be energy independent by 2047 by relying on green hydrogen. Green hydrogen has the potential to achieve cost parity with natural gas-based hydrogen or grey hydrogen by 2030. Grey hydrogen which is used in oil refineries, fertilizers, cement industries etc. in massive amounts will be replaced in a phased manner. India's likely installed capacity of energy from non-fossil fuels will be more than 500 gigawatts by 2030. Therefore, the impetus will be huge for developing infrastructure, technology and businesses that will help the country in this regard. So what is green hydrogen and how is it different? Let's see. Green hydrogen uses electricity generated from renewable resources for electrolysis process instead of the SMR process used to produce grey hydrogen. Production of green hydrogen using renewable energy can play a vital role in low carbon and self-reliant economic pathways. The increased acceptance of green hydrogen and its derivatives will require machinery and technology involved in the development of infrastructure required for this fuel. For instance, the oil refineries will be replacing 30% of fuel with green hydrogen by 2035 starting from 3% in 2025. The fertilizer industry will be using 70% green hydrogen by 2035, starting from 15% in 2025. Also, starting from 5% in 2025, the urban gas distribution networks will be replacing grey hydrogen by 15% in their fuel requirement with green hydrogen from 2035 onwards. The Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board has already approved a 5% blending rate for green hydrogen with piped natural gas or PNG. Innovative MSMEs and startups working on the development of indigenous technology and their adaptation will be encouraged under the existing program through specific support mechanisms under the National Green Hydrogen Mission. So all these are an indicator of a surge in demand that will be created by government policies. Now let's see the opportunities that will be created for entrepreneurs first in the sector of creation of infrastructure. Apart from industrial sector, the mobility sector will also require substantial supply of green hydrogen for decarbonization. A decentralized green hydrogen production would be essential for certain applications such as long haul mobility. Hydrogen refueling station in cities and along highways will be connected to decentralized RE plants for the in-situ production of green hydrogen. Infrastructure that supports and facilitates the building of necessary infrastructure for the storage and delivery of green hydrogen and its derivative will also be required. Second is the opportunities in export. So there is a massive opportunity for manufacturers of green hydrogen in the export market in the coming years. This will be due to the increasing pressure of reducing global house gas emissions globally. The new policy aims to put India on a global map as a manufacturer of green hydrogen and electrolyzers. Major export hubs will include countries like the Middle East, Southeast Asia and Africa. 
the next is the opportunity in investment so the ministry of commerce and industry will facilitate the ease of doing business encourage investments and implement specific industrial policies measures for low cost production and marketing of hydrogen and its derivatives the next is the opportunity in the manufacturing sector the ministry of commerce and industry will formulate necessary policies and programs to develop an ecosystem for the manufacturing of specialized equipments needed different states will have an opportunity to become front runners in this sunrise sector through manufacturing and project development by setting up green businesses and promoting the export of green hydrogen and its derivatives next is the opportunities in the research and development india's emerging green hydrogen economy will also provide opportunities around research and development as well as component manufacturing that are crucial to the development of a hydrogen based economy creation of sustainable facilities to test certify and validate technologies will be encouraged the blue sky projects that aims to develop capabilities of the r&d sector within an array of subjects like the development of third generation solid oxide fuels electrocatalyst reversible solid oxide electrolyzers sea water electrolysis plasma pyrolysis thermocatalytic pyrolysis high entropy alloys for reversible hydrogen storage salt cavern surveys etc will be encouraged apart from these sectors there are also some additional takeaways for industries for instance a legal provision for ensuring the enforceability of consumption targets for green hydrogen will be established through the energy conservation act this act will empower the government to specify a minimum share of energy and feedstock consumption for industries from non fossil fuel based sources that the industry must ensure to facilitate the delivery of renewable power supportive provisions of the policy will be extended to green hydrogen projects such as facilitating renewable energy banking waiver of the interstate transmission charges for renewable energy used for green hydrogen production and a time bound issuance of open access and connectivity so what changes after the 2023 budget allocation let's see there is a clear focus of the government on funding and support for r&d measures for demand creation and financial support for manufacturing and infrastructure development in associated fields too like domestic manufacture of fertilizers using green ammonia strategic intervention of green hydrogen transition or site green steel manufacturing transport shipping and creation of green hydrogen hubs in the country this mission will prove to be one of the country's most important projects many major economies of the world have declared similar hydrogen strategies as a part of climate and energy related actions sectors such as biofuel and green fuels will also see a boost apart from green hydrogen derivative synthetic fuels like green methanol green ammonia etc The National Green Hydrogen Mission will also explore the blending possibility of green hydrogen based methanol or ethanol and other synthetic fuels from green hydrogen in automobile fuels such fuels will be promoted to be used in many programs such as green fuel green energy green mobility green farming and green buildings The introduction of the National Green Hydrogen Mission will lead to a significant decarbonization of the economy and will enable India to assume market leadership and reduce the dependence on fossil fuel imports. But a considerable number of challenges will have to be dealt with when starting a new business in this sector such as mandatory licensing, applicable legalities and post compliances. Interclimate can help your business in this regard. we offer a comprehensive business setup and management solutions so you can contact our experts from the details given below if you found the video informative please like the video and share and subscribe